in the remote monstrous landscapes of Tibet. A child was born on a straw mat in a cow shed. This humble beginning marked the start of an extraordinary journey for a boy who would grow up to become a beacon of peace and compassion for the world. This is the story of the 14th Dalai Lama, a story that transcends borders and cultures, a story of resilience, hope, and an unwavering commitment to peace. Born on July the 6th, 1935, to a farmer's family in the small hamlet of Taktsa Lamo Tonda, was just an ordinary child until the age of two. That's when, in accordance with Tibetan tradition, a search party of monks, guided by a series of vision signs, arrived at his doorstep. Recognizing various items that belonged to the 13th Dalai Lama, the young boy was identified as his reincarnation. From that moment, his life took a turn from the ordinary to the extraordinary. He was now the Dalai Lama, the spiritual leader of Tibet, a role that would shape his life and the lives of millions around the world. The young boy was taken to Lhasa, where he was officially enthroned as the spiritual leader of Tibet. His education began at the age of six, a rigorous journey that would lead him to complete a Geshe Larampa degree, a doctorate of Buddhist philosophy, his studies were not just confined to the spiritual realm, but also encompassed the arts, sciences, and languages, molding him into a well-rounded leader. His tutors were strict, the lessons were long, and the expectations were high. But the young Dalai Lama was a quick learner, showing a keen intellect and a curious mind. He excelled in his studies, demonstrating a deep understanding of complex philosophical concepts and a natural aptitude for debate. At the tender age of 16, the Dalai Lama was thrust into political leadership when Tibet was threatened by the might of China. Despite his youth, he showed remarkable courage and wisdom, engaging in negotiations with powerful Chinese leaders, including Mao Zedong, Chao Enlai, and Deng Xiaoping. He was a young leader in a time of crisis, navigating the treacherous waters of international politics with a maturity and poise that bellied his age. He sought to protect the rights and freedoms of his people, even as he grappled with the harsh realities of power and politics. However, the political turmoil in Tibet escalated, and fearing for his life, the Dalai Lama was forced into exile in 1959. He embarked on a perilous journey across the Himalayas, evading Chinese soldiers braving the harsh conditions to reach India. He found refuge in the hill town of Dharamsala, where he established a government in exile. Here, in this small town nestled in the foothills of the Himalayas, he built a new life for himself and his followers. He set up schools to preserve Tibetan culture, established monasteries to continue the practice of Tibetan Buddhism, and created a democratic constitution for the Tibetan people exile. The Dalai Lama's advocacy for Tibet has been marked by a persistent pursuit of peace and dialogue. Initially, he sought full independence for Tibet, but as the political landscape evolved, he began advocating for high-level autonomy. His vision was for Tibet to remain a part of China, but with the freedom to preserve its unique and cultural traditions. He tirelessly traveled around the world, appealing to global leaders, addressing the international forums, and rallying support for the Tibetan cause. His message has always been one of peace and reconciliation, even in the face of adversity. The Dalai Lama's influence extends far beyond the borders of Tibet. His teachings on compassion, nonviolence, and peace have resonated with people around the world. In 1989, his efforts were recognized with the Nobel Peace Prize, a testament to his enduring commitment to peace and human rights. His acceptance speech in Oslo still echoes today, a powerful call for compassion and universal responsibility. He has met with world leaders, engaged with different faiths, and touched the lives of ordinary people, always spreading his message of love and understanding. Yet like any public figure, the Dalai Lama has not been without controversy. His comments about Europe and refugees in a 2023 incident in Dharmashala has sparked a debate. But through it all, he has maintained his commitment to dialogue and understanding. He has faced these controversies with the same openness and compassion that characterizes his approach to life. 
always ready to engage in conversation, to listen, and to learn. Today, the Dalai Lama continues to inspire millions with his teachings. His life is a testament to the power of compassion and the human spirit. From a humble cowshed in Tibet to the global stage, his journey is a reminder that no matter where we come from, each of us has the potential to make a difference in the world. His story is one of hope and resilience, a story that continues to inspire and guide us as we navigate the challenges of our own lives. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the life of the 14th Dalai Lama. If you enjoyed this short story and would like to hear more of them, please consider subscribing and maybe leaving a comment below. We'd love to hear from our audience what they would like to see us bring to life next. Until next time, be well.